Hello, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm just gonna address the elephant in the room for a moment. Look at these eyeballs. Like, I'm sorry, who is she? You don't know her, do you know her? You guys, so if you know and watch my videos, you know I have pretty dark brown eyes and I have dabbled in colored contacts before from wish.com and let me just say big mistake with brown eyes I thought it was literally impossible to cover the eye because whatever I got on wish was not very good little did I know this was pos I'm just like feeling myself can you tell like I'm sorry this is embarrassing so if you have dabbled in colored contacts you have probably heard of the brand TTDI um, they're like a huge colored contacts brand and I, that's what I'm wearing. That is what I'm wearing today. So they reached out to me um, to try the contacts and I literally, I cannot like, I never respond or answer for things that I don't think that I will use or am interested in or really go with my channel. So like, I just, you know, I have before always wanted to try colored contacts, specifically three kinds, blue ones, green ones, and gray. Those three colors, like, I just, to die for. So these are the gray ones. And, like, who would have thought gray contacts? I'm just gonna, like, come a little closer. I don't know if it will focus on my, oh my god. Look at me. Anyway, these are the Polar Lights gray eye contacts. I also got green ones. Those are called Real Khaki. And then I got um, Supernatural Blue. And then they even let my boyfriend try some for prescription. Anywho, enough about me and my eyeballs. I, I just really like these and I've never literally experienced being able to change my eye color with really dark brown eyes. So this is just really exciting for me. Um, I will obviously link all of the ones that I have down below and they gave me a discount code as well. So I will leave that if you are interested or if you've tried these, let me know how you like them. All right, let's get into the important part of the video. So I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted a haul slash review of these new iHeart Revolution body butters. These are cereal flavors, and when I saw these, it was instant add to cart checkout. Like that was it, game over. I don't usually get like that with products and you know, but come on. So let me start with this one. So this is the Cocoa Pebbles. Now, I like Cocoa Pebbles. They're not my favorite. Um, I'm more of a Cocoa Puffs kind of girl, but you know, it's like the same difference kind of. So this is the packaging, and I'm just gonna say this is freaking adorable. It has like almost a cereal bowl with the cereal inside there, and then this, my goodness, this smells like you're literally sticking your nose into a bag of Cocoa Pebbles. It is insane. Now, this has almost a milky smell to it. The same way, how do I describe this? Do you, if you guys have smelled the EOS vanilla cashmere, I think, scent, it has almost like a yogurt smell to it. That's what this has too, but it literally smells identical to Cocoa Pebbles, and when I put it on my hand and wore it, like every time my hand would pass my face, I would smell it. So this stuff, stays on and is pretty strong and I'm literally obsessed. It's literal chocolate, like, so good. My boyfriend said that this kind of smells sour to him. I'm not sure, maybe it's like the yogurt feel. Let me know if you've tried this, if you smell that too, but obsessed. Then we have Fruity Pebbles. Now, I do not like Fruity Pebbles. I don't mind them, but it's really just not my thing. However, smelling like Fruity Pebbles, whole nother story. That I'm totally down with. Same kind of thing on top. And this guy, let me tell you something. From straight from here, it does smell, again, identical to Fruity Pebbles. It's not as strong as the chocolate one, but you definitely smell Fruity Pebbles. I will say, I put this on my hand, I smelled it for a little bit, and then I couldn't smell it anymore. So I don't think this one's as long lasting because it's more fruity and sweet but literally identical to the cereal. If you open the bag, like put your face in it, like identical to it. These sold out so fast. Um, I believe they're back in stock now, but they have them at Ulta, I believe. I'm not sure if they're in store yet, but, and on the I Heart Revolution website. So yeah, definitely check these out. I'm like obsessed. I'll keep you guys like tuned in for when I actually use these on my entire body, but 
bomb. Up next, you guys, I bought two of these Method body washes now. These get me with the packaging. I'm gonna be honest, it's the packaging. I got this one in Cucumber, Seaweed, and Green Tea, the Deep Detox Body Wash. This just smells really good. I love, like, detox body washes. The smell makes me feel like I'm at a spa. And, oh my gosh, this smells really good. I definitely get, like, green tea and cucumber mostly. And the sea, oh, it's so good. It reminds me of the Dove Detox Body Wash. And I'm obsessed with that one. But the packaging and the color, like, these are just, they're displayable. So I bought them. Let's be real. And then this is the Berry Balance. So this is a bunch of different, like, berry scents. And this smells really good. It does smell like berries. It smells purple. Like, I know that's weird. When I was younger, I used to think colors had a smell and a taste. And, you know, this smells purple. Like, I don't know what to tell you. It smells like purple berries. And, yeah, I love the packaging. So I couldn't help myself. I'm probably going to end up buying all of these at some point. Every single color. But let me know which Method Body Wash is your favorite. Next up, you guys, I picked up the St. Ives Soothing Body Lotion and Oatmeal and Shea Butter. So um, if you watched my... was it? the last haul video that I had or maybe it was a favorites video I'm not sure but I got the body wash in this and I'm absolutely obsessed with it I pair it with the um, this guy the almond blossom and oat milk um, scent which by the way bomb 10 out of 10 get this if you have not yet but I love pairing it with that I just didn't have a lotion to go with it I have so many like fruity and like obnoxious scents I realized I don't have any like chill almond oatmeal kind of scents so I wanted to get the matching lotion to also pair with the Victoria's Secret Mist and the body wash so similar idea with this this is the Jergens body butter um, in lavender and I'm not big into florals. If you watch my videos, you know that. However, sometimes in the shower, especially on days off, I love the smell of lavender. Also, my boyfriend really loves the scent of lavender a lot. So I figured like I have lavender body wash. I don't want lavender mists or anything like that, but I have a body wash and I just need a lotion. So I read good things about this one. Let me know if you've tried it. It's a very pretty lavender scent, so I'm excited to try this and see if I like it and so I can have like that calm kind of lavender shower routine, you know? Next up, you guys, I got the Pumpkin Spice Latte Native Body Wash. These are like smaller than I expected. I don't know what I expected, but these are so cute. They're like the same shape as their deodorants. I just recently tried one of their deodorants and I actually kind of really like it. It's the grapefruit one, um, but I could not resist. Pumpkin Spice Latte, like, come on. Come on. And this, guys, smells <sighs> exactly like it sounds. I will say the pumpkin is overpowering in this. It is, I mostly smell pumpkin. Definitely spice. The latte is last. I could mistake this for like a pumpkin muffin kind of scent. It smells delicious though. It literally smells like Halloween and fall and everything like that. I cannot wait to use this. Let me know if the formula of these is good, but yeah, first body wash I'm trying from them and I cannot wait. All right, you guys, next I got this raw sugar body wash in pineapple, maquis berry, and coconut. I will say I didn't read the coconut part. I'm not a big fan of coconut. However, in body washes and things like that, lotions, I don't mind. I love the raw sugar body washes, at least the scents. The watermelon one from them is the best watermelon body wash I have ever smelled. I haven't tested it in the shower yet, but just saying. This does smell good. I do get like a pineapple berry coconut scent. It's not as fruity as I expected, but I'm excited to try it and see how it is in the actual shower. And I love the packaging. I love the little like bamboo looking tops. I love these so much. This is one of those products that I do want a recommendation from you guys, the drying lotion from Mario Badescu. Let me know if you've tried this, if this works. I saw this and it said $7 under it. And then I go to the register and it was 17. Oops. How I paid $17 for this, I do not know. That is something I would never ever do, but it was too late. It was too late, you know? So let me know if you've tried this, if it works, if there's other products that work better for like a penny, you know what I mean? And last but not least from Ulta, you guys, I got the body wash and the lotion in Strawberry Peach from Pacifica. Now, I really like the packaging of these. I really like the lavender one, but because I just got lavender products, I didn't pick that one up. This, to me, smells absolutely incredible. Like, I smelled it and I was like, this is the best thing I've ever smelled. This, to me, smells like the iced uh, dragon fruit tea candle. 
it's so juicy and delicious. Like this is just like, I don't even understand how this can be this good. I read the reviews and not everyone's into the scent and I'm just like, well, you're wrong. Kidding, obviously kidding, but not as many people like it and are obsessed with it as I thought. But let me know if you've tried these. Maybe the formula is just not that good. I don't know, but I cannot wait to try these. These smell amazing. All right, you guys, that is everything in my haul. Thank you, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.